Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to upload your purchase invoice details using an XML file for a particular month into the Karnataka VAT website. First open up your web browser and enter vat.kar.nic.in. On the right hand side enter the username which is nothing but your TIN number. Enter the password as given by the sales tax department. Enter the CAPTCHA code. And then click login. Once the authentication is successful, you will be redirected to the home page. Here on the left hand side, you can see the purchase statement, sales statement. Now we'll be adding the purchase details. So when you move the mouse over the purchase statement, you will find another option local and here you will find the upload XML file. We'll be uploading the XML file containing all the purchase invoice details in a format as specified by the Karnataka commercial tax department. So I click on this upload XML file. I select the year as 2016 and select the month as August and click on the go button. Here it will ask you to select the purchases XML file. Choose file. So I select on this. I browse in. Select the purchase XML file and then click open. Now I click on the upload button. Here you can see the details, current XML file details, the file name, the total number of invoices in the XML file, the total net value that is the amount before applying the taxes, the total tax amount from all the purchase invoices and the total value of the purchase invoices, the upload date. So before you can view the contents of the purchase invoices, you will have to click on the save button to view the contents of this XML file. I click on the save button. All the invoice details are saved and to view each of the invoices that are contained inside the XML file, you can click the view all button. Here you can see the list of purchase invoices entered with all the details mentioned here can cross verify with your actual purchase invoices. Next, if you would like to modify any of these, you can go to the main page option here, then again go to purchase statement, then again come down here modi uh, on the modify option, again click on the local button here. Here you can search the purchase invoice based on the TIN number, invoice number or the invoice date or click on open all to view all the invoices. here. You can select any of the purchase invoice if you would like to modify it by clicking on this select adjacent to each invoice. When you click on the select, for example, I would like to modify this particular entry. When I click on the select, the details are populated here, which you can edit. You can edit the detail number, you can edit the invoice number or the invoice date, any other details and then click on modify. The updated details will be highlighted here. If you would like to delete a particular entry, then you can select this, click on this and then you can click on the select option here and then click delete. Then the entry will be deleted and you can re-enter the option. You can re-enter the particular entry using the direct entry method or by uploading a fresh XML file. That's all guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.